Did you know that your body can run on something other than carbs? It's like finding out your car can run on dreams and fairy dust instead of gas. Welcome to the world of the ketogenic diet, where your body transitions from burning carbs to burning fat for fuel. This metabolic state called ketosis is the heart of the keto diet, but achieving and maintaining ketosis is a bit like walking a tightrope. One misstep, and you could find yourself out of the state of ketosis and back in carb-burning land. Now if you're following the keto diet, staying in ketosis is crucial. It's not just about losing weight, but also about reaping the multitude of health benefits that come with burning fat for fuel. So let's dive in to understand what can kick you out of ketosis and how to avoid these pitfalls. Remember, keto is more than a diet, it's a metabolic rebellion. So, what exactly is this magical fat-burning state called ketosis? Well, break it down. Picture your body as a car. Normally it runs on glucose, which is like gasoline. That glucose comes from all the carbohydrates you eat. Think bread, pasta, and sugar. But what happens when you stop feeding your body carbohydrates? It doesn't just roll over and quit. No, it's smarter than that. It switches fuel sources. Instead of running on glucose, it starts burning fat for fuel. This is ketosis, the state where your body becomes a fat-burning machine. Now you might be wondering, how do I get my body into this fantastic fat-burning state? The key is a low-carb, high-fat diet, known as a ketogenic or keto diet. Here's the deal. When you significantly reduce your carbohydrate intake, your body runs out of its preferred fuel source, glucose. It needs to find another source of energy. And that's where fat comes in. Your liver starts breaking down the fat you eat and the fat you've stored in your body into molecules called ketones. But don't think it's as easy as swapping spaghetti for steak. Achieving ketosis requires careful balance. You need to consume just the right amount of protein. Too little and your body will start breaking down muscle tissue. Too much and your body might revert to using glucose for energy, putting the brakes on your fat-burning journey. And fats? They become your new best friend. But not just any fats. We're talking about healthy fats like avocados, nuts, and oil. The trans fats found in junk food. Achieving and maintaining ketosis is like a delicate dance. It requires the right steps, in the right order, at the right tempo. It's a process, a journey, not a one-and-done deal. When your body enters ketosis, it's like a unicorn running on a rainbow, fueled by fat. And let's be honest, who wouldn't want to be a fat-burning unicorn? Buckle up and get ready for the ride. Your journey to ketosis is just beginning. If you're enjoying this video and excited to keep up with your ketogenic journey, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more keto tips and tricks. Now let's talk about the things that can rudely kick you out of this magical state. Imagine you're dancing at the most happening party in town and suddenly, the music stops. That's what it feels like when something disrupts your state of ketosis. So, what are these party poopers? Let's find out. First off, high carb foods. Yes, we're looking at you. Sugary snacks, grains, and fruits high in sugar, they're like an instant off switch for ketosis. These carb-loaded items can spike your insulin levels faster than a space rocket, halting your ketosis party in its tracks. And let's not forget starchy veggies. They might be dressed in green, but they are full of carbs. Next up, hidden carbs. These are the ninjas of the carb world. They sneak into your diet through processed foods and sauces, disrupting your ketosis without you even realizing it. It's like finding out your favorite superhero is actually a villain. So, keep your eyes peeled for these sneaky carb ninjas. Then there's the protein paradox. While protein is essential for your body, too much of it can be a party crasher. Excessive protein can be converted into glucose, potentially knocking you out of ketosis. So, remember moderation is key, even with the good guys. Alcohol, the proverbial double-edged sword. While a glass of wine or a shot of whiskey might seem harmless, they can pause your body's ketone production and metabolism of fats. In other words, they can put your ketosis party on hold. So choose your drinks wisely and always in moderation. Lastly, stress and lack of sleep. They can mess with your cortisol levels and blood sugar regulation causing a chaos in your ketosis party. So keep calm, carry on and get a good night's sleep. So, there you have it. The keto landmines that can disrupt your ketosis. It's like navigating through a field full of booby traps. But with a little vigilance and planning, you can avoid these traps and keep the ketosis party going. Avoid these like a vampire avoids a garlic festival. So how do we stay in this fat-burning wonderland, you ask? Well, let's dive right in. Staying in the keto zone is like navigating through a maze. It's a delicate balance, a dance if you will, between the carbs, proteins, and fats you consume. And the first step in this dance, tracking your macronutrient intake. It's not as daunting as it sounds, promise. Just remember, low-carb, high-fat, and moderate protein. 
a nutritional balancing act that your body will thank you for. And don't worry, there are tons of apps and food scales out there to make this process as painless as possible. Just think of it as a fun game, a keto treasure hunt of sorts. Next up on our agenda is meal planning and preparation. I know, I know, it sounds like a chore, but trust me, it's a lifesaver. Planning your meals in advance helps you avoid those sneaky, carb-loaded tempters. You know the ones I'm talking about. The sugar-laden treats that call your name from the office break room, or the tantalizing aroma of freshly baked bread wafting from your favorite bakery. With meal prep, you're in control. You dictate what goes on your plate, and in turn, what fuels your body. And who doesn't like being in control, right? Now let's talk about hydration. Water is your best friend on the keto diet. It's like the trusty sidekick to your superhero journey. Staying hydrated helps maintain a healthy metabolism, keeps your appetite in check, and even aids in digestion. So make sure to drink up. And no, unfortunately, I don't mean more coffee. Physical activity is another crucial component to staying in the keto zone. And before you start picturing grueling gym sessions or marathon runs, let me stop you right there. Any form of movement counts, whether it's a brisk walk, a quick yoga session, or dancing like no one's watching in your living room. The goal is to keep moving. Remember, a body in motion stays in motion. Last but certainly not least, seeking support from the keto community can be a game changer. Whether it's online forums, social media groups, or local meetups, there's a whole world of keto enthusiasts out there ready to share recipes, offer advice, and provide that much-needed motivation. You're not in this alone. Remember, everyone's journey is unique, but there's strength in numbers. So there you have it. Staying in the keto zone is a combination of tracking your macronutrient intake, planning your meals, staying hydrated, keeping active, and seeking support. Remember, it's not just about the bacon, it's about the journey. All right, let's wrap this up like a low-carb burrito. We've through the intriguing world of the ketogenic diet and discovered the golden state of ketosis, where our bodies become fat-burning machines. Remember, ketosis is achieved through a low-carb, high-fat diet that shifts our energy source from glucose to fats. We've also navigated the minefield of factors that can boot you right out of your ketosis sweet spot. High-carb foods like those sugary snacks, grains, starchy vegetables are the obvious culprits. But don't forget the sneakier ones, the hidden carbs lurking in processed foods and sauces. Always keep an eye on those food labels. Too much protein can also trip you up. While protein is essential, excess can convert it into glucose, which can potentially knock you out of ketosis. Balance is key here, my friends. And speaking of balance, while a glass of wine or a beer might tempting, Remember that alcohol can put the brakes on ketone production and the metabolism of fats. Moderation and making smart choices are your best allies. Stress and lack of sleep can also meddle with your ketosis. They can spike your cortisol levels and disrupt blood sugar regulation. So remember to breathe, relax, and catch those Zs. But hey, it's not all about dodging pitfalls. We've also explored strategies to stay in keto zone. Tracking your macronutrient intake, planning your meals, staying hydrated and keeping physically are all part of the ketosis game plan. And remember, you're not alone in this. The keto community is here for support, motivation and accountability. It's been quite a ride, hasn't it? Remember, the key to maintaining ketosis is being informed, mindful and consistent with your dietary choices. It's about striking a balance that works for and your body. And most importantly, it's about embracing the keto lifestyle for optimal health and wellness. Stay smart, stay informed, and most importantly, keto. And before we go, if you found this video helpful and informative, do us a solid one. Please like the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned more insightful content on your journey to health and wellness.